Hey NFT community, we be back with another video. Today I want to show you if you're intimidated by this warning added freshly to MetaMask and you want to sell your NFT on OpenSea or whatever marketplace, here's how to do it safely. So if you found an NFT you decided to sell, in this case it's just an example, I would never be selling my boring security 101 token, but if you click on sell and if you then fill the parameters like the ETH price with two ETH and the duration let's say with three days and then you click on complete listing. If you listen collection item for the first time, you will actually need to set an approval for all. Why is that? Because the marketplace needs your permission to be able to transfer the NFT or the token on your wallet's address behalf if a sale happens. So if a buyer is found and he wants to buy with the approval, you don't have to be online and that is what smart contracts are about, right? If something is met, then another type of action is happening. Before we jump into it, keep in mind, approvals are always per collection, as I just said, service, which means different marketplaces, different approvals or exchanges, for example, per wallet address. So even if you have multiple wallet addresses in your MetaMask, it's only per one wallet address. And it's per blockchain also. So if you approve something on Polygon, it's not carrying over to ETH. Let's jump into it. So how do we tell if this actually is a legit and safe approval request? I'll walk you through it right now. The first thing we are looking for is the origin URL, which is always shown in the bubble up top, which is in this case HTTPS double slash OpenSea.io, which is the correct domain. So always make sure this is the correct domain and this is coming from a domain that you would expect to send the request, like OpenSea, LuxRare, etc. This is the first thing to check and if this is correct, we can move on to the second one. The second check comes into play when we read this, allow access to and transfer all of your NFT. We just learned approvals are per collection only, so this can't be the case. This actually is a MetaMask displaying error or they have some kind of trouble like translating it because they can find a real name or indicator for that token. If you click on the blue NFT symbol, you will be taken to either scan. And here you can already see in the upper left, it's the token of the boring security. And if we click on the contract address on the right side of the either scan window and click it, we see that this is a token tracker for the boring security DAO deployed by boringsecurity.eth. So this is probably the right token we are looking for. So another example, if you're selling an ERC721 token, which is an NFT, by the way, you should be seeing something like this and then your token should be displayed correctly here. As you can see, it's telling we're going to transfer all of your unicorns, which we wouldn't do either because we won't sell our unicorns by the awesome zero X quit. But if you're selling something like Doodles, Board Ape, Yacht Club and so on, you would be seeing your token name displayed right. And if not, please click the blue link and double check. So we made sure that the origin is correct and the collection is correct. The next thing we want to pay attention to is the contract address that we're allowing or approving. And if you click on the arrow that points to the right right here, you will view that account on either scan. And here you can see like mainly a blank page, which is filtered for the for the wallet address that you're looking this up by. You can just click on the contract address in the upper right again, and then you will get taken to the actual contract, which in this case is OpenSea and the OpenSea conduit. And those labels are curated by the way. So either scan does check them manually and you can't just go ahead and label yourself as OpenSea with a label because these are curated by either scan. So the origin, the collection and the contract are correct. The last thing I want you to do is create a habit and that is click on view full transaction details. Expand them and then you can double check if those things we just checked are fitting. So we have a permission request coming from OpenSea.io. We have an approved asset, all of your NFT. Again, NFT is a displaying error. And then granted two to a contract, which is displayed above. The last check you can do is here you can see the data tab is showing you it's calling the function set approval for all and setting it to true to the given contract here. And if you've done the checks above and those are all right, then you can click on confirm and you can set the approval for all to OpenSea or whatever marketplace you're looking at to confirm that they can transfer your asset on your behalf if a buyer is found. Just a quick info here, if you already approved an item and are going to relist it, for example, you will then see something like this. This is a signature request by OpenSea. IO, again, check the origin, and the seaport contract is called. A listing signature always looks something like this. You have an offerer. Always make sure that in the listing signature, there's a consideration item that asks for the token you want to get. If you want to learn more on that, I have threads and topics on that and videos as well, so be sure to check them out as well. But if your listing is ready, you can then just go ahead 
scroll down and click sign and then the item will be listed on OpenSea or whatever marketplace. Thanks for the attention guys.